shit I've done, baby, all the shit I've dealt with. I be with my new bitch, ooh, acting reckless. Shining like the sun, baby, girl, don't be selfish. Can you help me, baby, I can't help. Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Perks, back again with another GTA 5 online video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this awesome modded outfit on the screen. So, with this outfit, you get the black joggers, the chest vest, the black racing gloves, and the checkable glasses, and you can see the rest of the outfit after the latest patch of 1.50. So, I hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video, and if you do, please make sure to let me know by leaving a like, and also comment down below if this outfit, like, if you guys like this outfit, and also if you guys want to see any outfit in particular, so like some checkerboard outfits, or like some certain joggers outfits like red, black, green. So you know what I mean. So just let me know if you want to see any outfits in particular. And also subscribe to my channel if you're new and enjoying my content. And just letting you guys know this we are going to be doing a transfer glitch in this video. This will delete all your outfits apart from the outfit you have on. So make sure that you want to keep like your main outfit. So just make sure you have your main outfit on. So anyways, yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. So I hope you guys do go on to enjoy. So the first thing you're gonna do is make it over to any clothes store that I have here. And I'm gonna make sure your last location is on. So if your last location isn't on, just make sure it's on last location. You also have the outfit you have on, so I'm going to be keeping this um, modded outfit here. So now once you have your outfit on and you have your last location on, you want to go ahead and bring up your pause menu, go over to online and then you want to make way down to swap character and just go ahead and select swap character. So now you just want to go ahead and wait until you load the swap character. So now once you load the swap character, you should see these two characters walk out. Now for the second character, you want to make sure that you don't have any second character. So it should say press X to edit or press A to edit. So you want to go ahead and press X to edit, then you want to go ahead and make sure make it a female, and then you want to go ahead and go into GTA Online. So I'll see you guys when I'm in GTA Online. So now once you load into GTA Online, you, should, you want to go ahead and bring up your pause menu and just check if you have any closed stores on the map. Because sometimes you spawn in with no closed stores. If that does happen to you, that's completely fine. You, should, you want to go ahead and find a new session. But I had, I had closed stores, so I'm just going to go and make my way over to a closed store. So yeah, if you guys don't have any closed stores, you just want to go ahead and find a new session. But I did have closed stores. And if you also have closed stores, then just go ahead and make your way over to a closed store. So now once you've made your way over to the closed store, you want to go to the accessories before we start the component outfits. Because you want to make sure you take off all accessories like earrings. Because some standard outfits come with earrings, so you want to go ahead and take them off. So now let's go ahead and get straight into the first outfit. So you want to make your way over to the pants section, and you want to go down to sports pants, and you want to go and equip sported muscle pants, which should be number one on the list. So now once you've equipped that, you want to back out, you want to make your way over to the top section. So now once you're at the top section, you want to go ahead and scroll down to sports t-shirts, which should be near the bottom. So once you're at sports t-shirts, which you'll be seeing in a second, I found sports t-shirts. You want to go down to the bottom, the very bottom, which should be number 12, and you want to go ahead and equip the Great Classic T-shirt. So now once you've done that, you want to scroll down to the bottom again, like the very bottom of the clothing list, and you want to go ahead and make your way over to Utility Vest. So now once you're at Utility Vest, which you'll see I'll make it in a minute. So now once you're at Utility Vest, you want to go down to the very bottom again, go down to number 39, which should be the Stealth Utility Vest. So you, should, you want to go ahead and equip that. Now once you equip that, you want to make your way over to the Shoes section. Now you want to go down to high heel boots. So now once you're at high heel boots, you want to make your way down to number 24, which should be the deluxe midnight combat boots. So you just want to go ahead and equip them, just like I do here. So now once you've equipped them, you just want to back out. Now you want to make your way over to the accessory section. So you want to make your way over to the glasses section. This is optional though, this is going to be for the checkable glasses. If you don't want to checkable glasses, then don't do this step. But if you do, you want to go to casual glasses, and you want to go down to number 22, which should be the copper marbles. So now once you've equipped them, you just want to make your way over to the accessory section. So you want to make your way over to the accessory section. Now you want to go to gloves. And you want to go down to number 4, which will be the light woodland tactical gloves. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. Now that's the first outfit done, you just want to go ahead and save that. And you want to make sure you save this into slot 2, you don't want to save it into slot 1. Because you need to put a different outfit in slot 1. And there will be 3 component outfits for this video, just letting you guys know. So now anyways, onto the second outfit. You want to go back over to the top section. Now you want to go down to leather jackets. So when, I just actually went past it, so you just want to go down to leather jackets. Now you, want, now you want to go down to number 32, just like I do over here. Which should be the blue JC jacket. So you just want to keep, you want to keep scrolling until you find number 32. 
or should be this blue JC jacket here. So you want to go ahead and buy that and then equip it. So now once you've bought this jacket, you just want to back out then make your way over to the bikinis, which should be near the bottom. So once you backed out, you just want to scroll down to the bottom which, and then you just want to go to, over to bikinis. And then you want to go and equip the first one, which should be the black floral. So now once you've equipped that, you want to back out, you want to bring up your interaction menu, then you want to go to style, accessories, and then you just want to go ahead and take off the gloves. So now once you've taken off the gloves, you just want to go ahead and save this into slot 1. So, you, so as you guys saw that we saved the outfit into slot 2, you want to make sure you save this outfit into slot 1. So now once you save that into slot 1, we're going to go ahead and get onto the last component outfit. So we're going to make our way back over to the top section once again. Now once you're at the top section, you want to go to leather jackets again. And now once you're at leather jackets, you want to scroll down to number 66, which should be the blue crop biker. So you just want to keep scrolling until you find the blue crop biker leather jacket. So it should be number 66 for you guys. So once you find it, you just want to go ahead and buy that. Now you want to back out and then make your way down to the top t-shirts. So now once you find the top t-shirts, you want to go down to number 11. And that should be the black classic t-shirt. You just want to go ahead and buy that. So now once you've bought that, you want to back out again. Now once you've backed out from the top section, you want to go ahead and put on the gloves again, so you just want to bring up your interaction menu, go down to style and accessories, and then just go ahead and equip the black gloves again, not the black gloves, sorry, the tactical gloves. So now once you've equipped them again, you can go ahead and save this into slot 3. So now we are done for the components, you should have these three outfits, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you, that, show you guys the three outfits. So you should have these three outfits. So now we're going to go ahead and do the transfer glitch. If you guys don't know how to do the transfer glitch, I'm going to go ahead and show you now. So you want to first step, you want to bring up the interaction menu and you just want to go ahead and take the easy way out. So what this will do, this will force a game save to just save the component outfits. So now once you've done that, you want to bring up your pause menu, go down to online and then go over to creator. So you just want to go ahead and select creator. So now once you select selected creator, you just want to wait until you load into creator. Now once you're in creator, you want to go to creator race and you want to go to land race. So now once you spawn into land race, for the race details, the title and description can just be anything random, so like a couple of letters, I just put a bunch of G's, and then for the photo, you can just take around and throw the sky. And now for the maximum players, you want to make sure that this is set to two players, and the route type is point to point. Now just to speed it up, you can put the card to the supercars. Now for the placement trigger, or the W trigger, sorry, you want to go ahead and warp to the airport, so you want to bring up your pause menu, and then just go down to the airport, and just warp over to the airport. So now once you're at the airport, for the select trigger location, you want to go ahead and just place the trigger just around here and then for the lobby camera, just take around the picture of the sky again. Now for the checkpoints, you want to roughly make them just like how I do, but they don't have to be the exact same because it doesn't actually matter if they're not the exact same. You want to make sure the race length is around 0.72 to about 0.78, that's what I recommend doing because I think like anything higher it might not work, so I just don't want to risk it. But I accidentally messed up the fourth checkpoint here, but I just made it to 0.75. So if yours is like 0.73 or like 0.77, it's completely fine. And it shouldn't mess up the glitch. So now once you've done that, you just want to go ahead and test the race, which should only get, only take a couple of seconds. So now once you've tested the race, you'll get this pop-up on your screen. You just want to go ahead and um, press OK. And then, when you, then you want to bring up your pause menu, go over to online and go over to choose character. Now you just want to wait until you load into choose character, which should only take a couple of seconds. Now you should see your male and your female character walk out. So now for the next step, you want to go ahead and delete your female character. And then once you delete your female character, you want to back out into story mode. You want to make sure you don't select your male character. You want to make sure you go into story mode, otherwise it will mess up the entire glitch. So anyways, I'll see you guys once I'm in story mode. Now once you guys load into story mode just like I have here, you just want to bring up your pause menu, go over to online, then you just want to go ahead and start an invite only session, or if you want to you can start a public lobby, it's completely up to you, but I recommend an invite only session, just so like if you spawn in a shop like no one kills you from the lobby, and make sure you don't select like a close friend session because that like has a chance of messing up the glitch. So anyways you just want to wait until you load it into GTA Online. Now once you've loaded in, like you should spawn at the closed door if you had your last location on just like I did. Now if you see these three components that means the glitch has worked, so you just want to go ahead and save your outfit you have on into the last slot. So now once you've saved the outfit, you just want to back out and make it to the pants section. 
Now you want to go down to utility pants and equip the black highs pants. So this is going to merge like the black joggers onto the modded outfit. So now once you've equipped these, you want to bring up your um, pause menu and you want to go ahead and start up Cricket Cop, which should be at the versus section for the jobs. So you just want to go ahead and start that up. Now once you slide it up, you just want to, all you want to change is the clothing. You want to make sure that's on player owned. Then you just want to go ahead and press confirm settings and wait for a player or like uh, your friend to join. So as you guys can see, I've got my friend to join. Now you, want to, now you just want to go ahead and start it up. Now once you're in the mission, you want to go ahead and press right on the d-pad once. And I should see this modded alpha here. This is not the final alpha guys, don't worry. You do need to do cricket hop once more. So you just want to go ahead and ready up and now wait until you load it in. So you guys might not get the cop belt just like I did. I only got the cop belt on this outfit here because of my previous outfit. But this won't stick anyway. So once you're in the mission anyway, you want to bring up your pause menu. You want to go ahead and equip an earpiece. Then you want, or it could be a rebreather, it doesn't really matter. Then you just want to go ahead and equip the joy using your phone. So now once you've loaded it back in, you should see you guys have this outfit here. So now if a car spawns next to you, you want to go ahead and take that car. Now you want to make your way over to the suburban clothes store, which you should spawn near. Now once you're at the clothes store, you want to make your way over to the accessory section. You want to go down to gloves and you want to find where it says race suit gloves. So when you go to race suit gloves, you should see you have the black um, racing gloves. So you want to go ahead and select that. Then you want to go ahead and delete the new outfit zero. So once you've deleted that, you want to back out and you want to go ahead and start cricket up again. So now once you start cricket up, you just want to wait until you load it into the mission. Then you want to put the clothing on player owned once again. And just start up the mission and wait for a random person or your friend to join. So I've got my friend to join again. So you just want to go ahead and start up the mission once you've got someone to join. Now you want to press run a d-pad twice and you should see the modded outfit in the thumbnail. So now you just want to ready up and then wait until you load into the mission. So it will take a couple of seconds if like if it's got if it's a random player then you might take a few seconds to ready up. But my friend just ready up straight away. So now once you've loaded into the mission, you just want to do the exact same thing as the last cricket cop. You want to bring up your interaction menu, go to style, accessories, and equip an earpiece or a rebreather, then just go ahead and quit the job. So now once you quit the job, you just want to wait until you load back into DT Online. It should only take a few seconds. It only takes about 10 seconds, but I just sped it up. So now once you load in, you just want to make your way over to the clothes store once again. So now you just want to make your way over to the clothes store, I said you went past it. So once you're at the clothes store, you can go ahead and save the outfit and delete the two components. I'm just going to show you guys like how to get the bulletproof helmet onto the outfit really quickly. So just to make the outfit look like more try hard and just make it look better. So you just want to go ahead and call in like one of your bikes. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it now if you don't know how to do it. You want to call in one of your bikes and just make your way near like the entrance of the store. Now you want to bring up your interaction menu, go to style, and you want to make sure your bike helmet is on the black bulletproof helmet, and you want to make sure your helmet visor, or not the helmet visor, sorry, the auto show bike helmet is on, so I'm with Ice off. So now, now it will put the helmet on the outfit, then you can just go ahead and go and slide to sort and save the outfit. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please make sure to leave a like, and let me know in the comments if you like this outfit, also subscribe to my channel if you're new and enjoying my content. So anyways, it's been, it's been your boy Perks, see you in my next video, and peace.